Aaron Barnett is in Memphis outside FedEx Forum, where the Memphis Grizzlies open their season tomorrow. Errol, good morning. Hey there. Good morning, everyone. The arena you see behind me will be like most others across the country as this season gets underway without its courtside fans. That's just one move the NBA made with its host cities to help box out the spread of the coronavirus. So we spoke with coaches, players and the commissioner of the NBA who is nervous because so much is unknown about how this season will play out. It's over. This historic 2020 NBA championship belongs to the Los Angeles Lakers. This was just two months ago, the Los Angeles Lakers championship celebration, capping the longest, most unconventional year in league history. We had zero positive tests. We had zero positive tests for as long as we were here. But this season, the NBA is doing everything it can to replicate that success outside a bubble environment. Have you ever now faced a test like this? Not that I can think of. At the forefront of that effort is Commissioner Adam Silva. When we went into the bubble, um, there were positive cases where guys were living their lives like other Americans. And then in the time between when we finished in the bubble, and when we restarted, when guys came into training camps, and we were very public about this, we had roughly 50 5 positive cases, guys coming in. To help prevent the spread of COVID, the NBA released this 158-page memo to its 30 teams, detailing stringent protocols for players, coaches, and team employees, including twice daily testing and intense contact tracing. Team violations can lead to fines, suspensions, adjustment or loss of draft choices, and game forfeitures. But there are no criteria dealing with when the league may suspend play. But even if it is a safer environment, if past is prologue and you're playing these games across the country where cases are up virtually everywhere, then this almost guarantees that there will be at least one or two confirmed cases. What happens then? We think by with the combination of all these tools that we're going to be able to quickly isolate a player who tests positive. If that's not the case, we're going to have to rethink our protocols. Tonight's game has been postponed. Last March, after the first known positive case in the NBA, Silva decided to postpone the season, a decision lasting almost five months. This year, coaches and players will be the willing guinea pigs in the season-long experiment. But despite so much unknown, many believe the league has their best interests in mind. The Miami Heat's Andre Igudala is vice president of the Players Association. What is the fear level among some other players now about not just contracting the virus, but perhaps um, transmitting it to others? I think it's amongst every player where you have some type of fear, but with that fear, uh, sometimes fear can be a good thing. So, you know, that puts every player in a, in a position to make sure that the environment is safe. Guys are holding everyone accountable, and that fear is making sure that uh, we're, we're taking the right precautions and, and we're following all the protocols. And another test is coming with vaccines now rolling out across the country. How many players and staff will actually sign up to get the shot? Commissioner Silva says he will not allow the league to jump the line and he has no plans currently to require the vaccine. We'll get our first sense of how the season is going tonight when the commissioner hands championship rings to the Lakers out in L.A. Vlad. Some important reporting there. Errol, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Yeah, I, I get worried when I hear as a fan and as a human being that players are afraid that they're guinea well, pigs. Well, in, in the NBA, it's a true fear, right? Because you have Carl Anthony Towns for the Minnesota Timberwolves had seven family members die of right. COVID. So this is something that has hit the league very, very hard. And I think everyone liked that they took it so seriously right. in Orlando. So we'll have to see how this plays out. I think out. it's like Errol said in the beginning, it's unknown. But it's you unknown. hope for the best. But you don't want to be a guinea pig in no. your job. Man. But luckily, overall, they did well with it, which yeah. is impressive. No, they have. Yeah. They have. It'll be interesting to see what they do for the future. Go Lakers. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm Boop. with you on that one. Boop.